All praise and glory to you, Yahovah, our Elohim, King of the universe, Father. We just praise you, Father. Let this video be for your glory, Father, that it may prepare your people, Father. Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit speak through my lips and my tongue, Father. I pray in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name for your glory, Father Yahovah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, hi, brothers and sisters. Um, this uh, is a warning video that the Lord has put on my mind and my heart. I haven't done videos for a long time, and he's been having me do a series of videos. And um, this one is of the warning of what's coming. Now, we all know that Jesus, Yeshua is coming soon, but there are also a few things that are going to happen before he comes. And the Lord does nothing except for um, he tells his prophets and watchers and his children first. So we're not taken by surprise. Um, so different things that have happened uh, in my own life, you know, I've been like uh, attacked a lot lately. So I've been doing a lot of a lot more prayer, a lot more praying in tongues, um, a lot of protection prayers. That's why I put the uh, video protect um, the morning protection prayer out because it really has helped me and has revealed things in my life that I need to clean up. But, um, so, uh, Yahovah has given me, just made me remember some things that uh, he has done that he wants me to remind his children. So first of all, we are in um, a Jubilee year. And we must remember that he did the four blood moons, the ones on um, Passover and the ones on Feast of Tabernacle in the past two years. And he did those things so as a warning so we would look up and see because he uses the, the sun, the moon, and the stars for um, signs and wonders. So he's trying to get us to look up and pay attention. Now, there has been tons of videos that different people from all over the world are putting, are sending to different people. Um, one uh, YouTube video or one YouTube channel, uh, Dill, D-I-L-L Martin, and I'll put his, uh, the name of his YouTube channel um, below in the comment box or in, a, in the description box. Um, he has a lot of people send him videos of the two suns in the sky that people are seeing, um, a dark, large object with other planetary um, or planets around it, whether it's moons or planets, I'm not sure. Um, but it's like a, a large, dark star or planet. Um but the Lord is telling us, Yahovah is telling us to look up. We need to be watching the skies. Um, and that's where Yeshua comes from anyway. So we need to be watching. Um, you know, his calendar is on his, um, his months start at the new moon. So those that are truly following uh, the Torah and what Yahovah, uh, you know, wants his people to, to follow is a creator's calendar and following the new moon, not, you know, the Gregorian calendar. Um, so we are to be watching the skies. And when we're watching the skies, we would see these other things happening, the meteors and, and, um, this, the two suns and, um, whatever else is going on. So anyway, uh, so we're supposed to be watching the skies, but we're also seeing all the chemtrails in the last few years, and they're just ramping up too. I mean, it's crazy, all the lines that you see in the sky, and it just creates all these crazy cloud covers um, because the powers that be are trying to cover up the skies with chemtrails. And um, what they're hiding is the another planetary system that is now truly upon us. 
I mean, that is why we're having the earthquakes, all the volcanoes, the sinkholes, the sun storms, the flares. Um, the Lord told me that there is a pole shift about to happen. Now, anything that I'm sharing with you guys, a lot of these things you can research yourself um, and pray about it and ask the Lord to reveal to you what is happening, what is going to be happening. Um, and, you know, he's been telling people for quite some time now to get away from the coastlines, pray about these things. I think it is time now because of all, all these volcanoes going off and look at the, the earthquakes. They are becoming the me the um, the magnitude of these earthquakes are becoming um, more and more intense. And just a few mm, excuse me, just a few years ago, they changed the Richter scale. Um, they actually so if it was a, a five point seven, they're now saying it's like a four point seven. So actually, it, so if it says that it's a, a six point one earthquake. It's a 7.1 earthquake because I don't want to create panic in people. So, um, but the Lord tells us it's like birth pains. And if anybody knows when a woman is giving birth, the contractions become closer and closer together, more and more intense. These things are becoming closer and closer together. I mean, there's sinkholes going on literally, um, like in my best friend's backyard. Uh, you know, we have, I live in Arizona and we have, um, San Francisco peaks just, um, like 30 miles from where I live up, um, a canyon. And this canyon is literally on a minor fault line, but we've been having earthquakes where we've never really had earthquakes before. Um, but on um, next to the, the the dormant volcanoes that we have here is um, actually a meteor crater. And um, there's these fields that um, they're actually pluming. Dutch Sense saw them actually, gosh, it's been a year or so ago where um, these these plumes are coming out of nowhere and it turns out there was steam coming from um, this 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 lava field. So something is I mean everything is be, is moving and grooving under the 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 crust of the earth. So we need to be paying attention. Now you know the government, the powers that be are trying to blame it on us. And um, I know a lot of you already know these things, but for anyone that's new and, and, and doesn't under the, understand these things, the planet, uh, the climate change, yes, the climate is changing in the, in, on the Earth. But in our solar system, all the other planets, climates are changing also. They are all heating up. The sun has, is having sunstorms and flares. Um, so this is all scientifically proven, but it's not because of what we're doing. It's not because of pollution. It's not because of these different things. It's because there's a large um, planetary system coming at us. And if you looked at different um, cultures, they also have... Uh, legends and stories about um, Planet X, the Destroyer, the Red Dragon. I mean, that's all about the New Year and why they have the dragon. Uh, you know, the, the big dragon, that the two dragons. It's because the dragon, they called the planet the dragon. And they like bop up and down. And that's why this planetary system is, it, it's like, not it doesn't it doesn't have our orbits like we do in our solar system so um the person that uh he's a christian gil brajard his youtube channel is planet 7x he has done um several interviews but one of the best interviews that i have uh listened to that he has done thus far that i'm aware of is the one with um john b wells um caravan um, to midnight 
and uh, with Gil Bergerard about Planet 7X. And he has an amazing presentation to help you understand. Um, and it's biblical. And, um, you know, he's a Christian. He believes in the Torah. He's a Sabbath keeper. He's a feast keeper. Um, the Lord is giving him awesome revelation. He has um, traveled around the world to different cultures and has... Compared them to uh, scripture, and I mean, his presentation is amazing and quite eye opening and startling because he is saying, um, like, this Passover could be the time when the, this planet passes before us and um, it's not going to hit us. But because of where the Earth is in our solar system and where um, this planet, the Destroyer, Nibiru, Planet X, Planet 7X, whatever, um, we are very close to each other. And when it passes over, we are going to go across its debris trail, um, which we would probably be hitting like a lot of um, experiencing a lot of meteor showers and the United States is really going to get hit because of, I guess, the position of our rotation when going through this path. And he does a really great job of explaining it. Um, so I really um, urge you to watch his videos and share them because it's about to happen. We don't have very much time left. So um, now if you... A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, whatever, whatever. They don't believe me because I've tried to share this with a lot of my friends. Um, some of my new age friends get it because we've been watching for this thing for a while. But a lot of the, Christ the Christian friends that I have or clients, they don't want to hear it. They they don't want their com comfort zone to be like rocked. And, um, and it's just interesting, the timing of this, because if you think of Moses and the Exodus, and pass, um, you know, Passover. They were they put the blood of the Passover lamb over their uh, doorposts, and they were inside praying, and they were afraid. But the Lord protected them from the angel of death as it passed over. And the Lord uses His feasts. I mean, look at the blood moons. Gil Bajard said that um, by the, the rotation of the Earth, where we're at, the orbit of uh, Nibiru, Planet X, whatever, it, we pass its trail, or pass over its trail, or through its trail, uh, tail um, during Passover. Look at Exodus. And that's when a, one of the blood moon, the last two years, the blood moon was on Passover. And then as planet X comes back around and say we're the Earth and where we go in our orbit, we go back into um, and pass over its tail again as it's going out and back away from us. And that is supposed to happen at Feast of Tabernacle. So look at the four blood moons in the last two years. And I believe that is the Lord trying to tell us, wake up, pay attention, pay attention, get ready. Um, you know, something is going on. I'm trying to warn you. So, and if you look at all the earthquakes, volcanoes, sinkholes, sunstorms, all this stuff is happening right now. So if you can pray, ask the Lord, where does he want you? Is he, or is he like tugging at your heart to move, to move away from the coast, to, um, you know, do something. I'm not sure. Each of us have different jobs um, and different parts of this. But number one, we need to make sure that we have a personal relationship with Yeshua, Jesus Christ. We need to repent. He is coming back soon. Is he coming back now? I'm not sure. But he told me he was coming back. And um, very, very soon when he first uh, pulled me out of the pit of hell, and showed me the truth that he is the way, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and the life. And he told me that the end is here, and he is coming very, very soon. 
and he told me to watch for Passover. And um, my friends that are very close to me in my life, I said, Passover, Passover, Passover. If you saw my refrigerator, I have this big thing about Passover. The king is coming for Passover. Uh, Yeshua is coming soon. It's like I have it just plastered on my refrigerator. I never really, like, really paid attention to what was on my refrigerator. And then uh, someone gave me this Lion of Judah clock. Um, as a Hanukkah gift. Well, it's time is up. And then I stage homes also. I'm an interior designer, but I also stage homes. And, and, uh, last summer I was looking for some, something to, something that was kind of, uh, transitional that would work in different homes. And I, f I found these really two architectural, uh, big, um, photographs, black and white photographs, matted and framed really beautifully and they were on like an amazing sale so I bought both of them and I used them to stage some homes for photographs and things like that and then I decided to hang them up in my living or my dining room so they're above my table where I have Shabbat so every time I sit at my table these uh these architectural photographs are of clocks two old clocks and the Lord's like time is up time is up Warn my people, warn my people. So um, on uh, Sunday, I was warming something up in my toaster. I was making bagels in my toaster oven. And um, I had a, a little dropper uh, bottle in my cupboard that I could see. And it said, four, two, three, one. And I was like, huh, the Lord made me look at that. And then I, and then they told me, look at my toaster oven the timer on it, and it was like the countdown. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep. He's telling me the time is up. We need to be ready, and um, we need to make sure our houses are clean, and that we are repentant and humbled, and that we are doing what, we, what he is telling us to do, and we need to prepare. And um, he told me that a pole shift is coming. If you think of like a large magnetic, you know, those big horseshoe magnets and a small magnet um, holding in place, the magnet will flip. And he told me that um, a pole shift is coming and, and people are not going to have any idea. And he showed me Genesis um, 11, 9. And this is when they were building the Tower of Babel. And he showed me that the New World uh, top Trade Tower, the new, you know, where they put they, the building that they built instead of the World Trade Centers in their place, he told me that that is the new Tower of Babel when they were building it. And that was even before Obama um, signed the, the we will um, come back stronger and whatever, whatever he said. Um... And, you know, that is like them mocking God. And that's what the Tower of Babel was about, mocking God. They're actually trying to go to heaven to kill God. Like, that's possible. Good luck with that. Um, but anyway, he was showing me Genesis 11, 9. And it said that he confounded the languages on all the earth. And I'm like, hmm. You know, like the Gil Bajard said that the the tower that they were building, it the, the top part of it burned and the bottom part of it, I guess, sunk into the ground. So only a third of it's showing because um, there was like a big moat-like thing around it. But it's where the, it almost like went into the sand, like the Lord just buried it. But, um, but he confounded their languages. And oh, a few years ago, I was kind of studying about a pole shift. And, um, a friend of mine had kind of made, uh, an interesting comment. He's like, well, I'm going to, um, make us, uh, lead helmets in, out of motorcycle helmets. So, because if the pole ship comes, it's supposed to, um, like change your brain because, uh, you know, the magnetic shift, it makes people lose their memory. So my friend talking about that, the Lord put that back into my mind. And I was like, Huh. And then my other sister, she was talking about zombies. She's like, I keep getting zombies, zombies, zombies. Well, if people lose their minds or their memories, um, 
if a pole shift happens, they are going to be like zombies. They're going to be like, what's, you know, who knows what, I mean, they forget everything. So it would be really, I think, just like trying to survive. And I don't even know if they would even know how to do that. So it would almost be like more animalistic type of behavior. Um, I'm not sure, but... Uh, but when he said he confounded the languages of the earth, did he make them, did a pole shift, maybe make them forget their language? Is it something to, because uh, Gil Bajar talks about how when Nibiru goes around or planet 7X, because it's seven times larger supposedly than the earth, when it goes around, he sh it shows like history. And one of the times he thinks that it went around, um, the earth was, um, during the tower of Babel. So, um, and look at where the powers that be are right now. They are so arrogant and so in our faces about their plans. Like, what can we do? You know, it's like Moses and X, you know, and all the, uh, Israelites as slaves trying to leave Egypt but God is doing signs and wonders and miracles and the plagues. The Egyptians couldn't, or I'm sorry, the Israelites couldn't do anything. They were slaves. They had nothing. But God stuck up for his people. So it's just very interesting. So, um, but the Lord said, um, he also showed me that, um, hold on. He said, we need to prepare spiritually and physically if you can. Gather food, water, and other supplies needed as prompted by the Holy Spirit. So each of us have different different jobs to do. So like I may have, um, he, like he's been telling me to get candles. He's been telling me to get matches and lighters. He told me to get more extra lighters because it will be a bartering thing um, later on. If we need to do those things, if the financial, if the... Um, the, if there's an economic collapse, you know, we need to know how to barter, um, you know, buying like maybe some extra food that we could barter with, things like that. So each person will have, if they're following what the Lord is guiding them, you know, one sister may have like lots of water. Maybe she's been storing water, but someone else maybe knows how to hunt. Maybe somebody else will have, um, they'll know how to fix something, you know, like an inventor or something. But then we come together um, as a community and help each other. So we don't have to get like everything ourselves. But if he's telling you to do something, do whatever he is putting on your heart to do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to continue. I have been told a pull shift is about to happen. No one will know when it will happen. It will throw the earth off its, its pattern. And um, I understand it will confuse people that aren't Yeshua's, that the people that are not Jesus, that the, the people that do not belong to Jesus Christ, Yeshua. There will be a memory loss, almost like the Tower of Babel, where Yahovah, I'll praise him, glory to his name, hallelujah, bless his holy name, that he confused their languages. But Yahovah establishes our minds that belong to him. And our thoughts. The righteous will have an established mind. The wicked are already confused and perverted in their minds. Psalm 7, 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous God tests the minds and the hearts. Revelation 2, 23. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each according to their deeds. So, um, so this is what he's been putting on my heart. And then he said, um, please, he told me to say, please watch, um, you know, the channels that I've been watching to educate yourselves. Um, because if we know what's going to happen, we're not going to be so freaked out. He's warning us. So, uh, Gil Bajard, uh, he's a Christian astronomer, uh, amateur astronomer, 
and the Holy Spirit has shown him many, many things. So his channel is Planet 7X. John Moore, also a Christian, he, um, he's been warning people for many years. Also, um, a lot of military uh, generals, ex-militaries, um, were told to move away from the East Coast and into the Ozarks to prepare. And, the, and uh, they were told that it was going to happen in their lifetime. So all these military people are moving into the Ozarks because it's a safe place. Um, that is why. So if you think about why all of a sudden, since Obama has become president, are we in trillions of dollars in debt as a government, as a country? It's because they're using the money and building their underground bunkers. So they're taking all the money and they're just trying to, you know, say, you know, save themselves and protect themselves from what's coming. Um, so when they, so when they see this thing coming, they will go underground. Now you have to think of your, you know, think of this. Why does the Vatican have telescopes in different areas of, on the earth? They have a telescope in Safford, Arizona, and it is a infrared telescope, which means that it sees like dark objects coming. And um, they named the telescope Lucifer 1 and Lucifer 2. Um, and I've known this for a while, but then Tom Horn uh, and Chris, Chris Putnam actually went there and um, got more information about that. So when you start putting all these pieces together, um, you know, look at the New World Order. You know, the Pope is talking about let's all come together. The Reformation is over. Um, you know, uh, Kenneth Hovland, or not Hovland. Oh, my gosh, I can't think of his name. The uh, prosperity preacher. Uh, you know, he's telling people to, we need to go back to the Catholic church, blah, 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 blah. No, no. Yeshua is not in that church. That church, uh, I mean, I, nothing against Catholics. I love my brothers and sisters, but we all need to look at our lives. We need to look at the word of God. Look at Deuteronomy. Look at the, the curses and the blessings. Look at, you know, what God tells us to do. We are not to worship a man. We are not to pray to idols and dead people. Um, you know, so many religions have askewed what the word of God is. We need to go into the Bible, pray, and ask the Holy Spirit to show us. And do what Yeshua did. Do what the first five books of the Bible says. Um, you know, the Pope says that he can forgive um, women that, give ab that have had abortions. No, he can't forgive them. Only through the blood of Yeshua. That's why Yeshua died on the cross. His blood shed for you and for your sins. He died for you. Only that can cover your sins. Um, you know, he says that it's okay for um, same-sex marriage. That's an abomination to God. And I pray for um, friends that are homosexual. I pray for them. I, ha I had a lot of friends that were lesbian and homosexual. I love my friends. You know, if I was a fornicator, I'm just as bad as they are. We just all have different sins and different addictions. And they're all not good. We need to come away from all those things and wash ourselves clean in the blood of Yeshua that we can stand in with him. And live eternally with him. So anyway. Um, now if you look at everything that's going on in the news. You know. Um, for instance we just had the Super Bowl. We have all the debates going on. For the. You know. Or the. the for the elections. We have. You know the stock markets. Like. Going down. Um, you know just all the distractions. There's so many distractions to take us out of the word, away from what Yahovah is telling us and um, trying to show us. So um, 
We need to get into the word and pray and ask for direction and guidance. Um, so the Lord told me that we are in the, the year of Jubilees and he did the whole book of Jubilee, which is in the Apocrypha. And that is, that shows that the Lord does a lot of things. He is a God, a creator of order. He uses his feasts to meet with his people, like the windows of heaven open. But also if you're not his child, it, it is judgment. So judgment can be good if, you're, if um, you're not guilty and bad if you're guilty. So it's up to you, you know, if you're repentant or not and have the relationship with Yeshua. But anyway, if you look at the Super Bowl that we just had, which, you know, I just remember hearing it was this 50th Super Bowl. Well, look, it's a jubilee. 50 is jubilee. Um, I don't care about sports. It's a huge distraction. I, I don't believe it is of Yeshua. Would he? Uh, or Yahovah, will he use it for good? Yes, but a lot of it is about programming and um, distraction um, from what is important. So uh, I'm trying to see what else. Um so anyway, he was telling me that a pole shift is coming. We need to try, if you can, store water. If you can, buy extra food. Um, you know, emergency food or just extra canned food that will stay around for a while. Um, you know, um, have some extra cash on hand because cash will work for a while. Um, you know, Make sure your pets have food if you can. Buy extra. Um, he, he's been telling me to buy firewood and blankets. Because uh, I guess it's going to be cold for some reason. So, um, you know, I live in Arizona. But, I mean, um, and also ways to heat. Um, whether it's candles. Because, you know, if you have a couple candles lit. And, you know, say it's cold outside. Uh, say you're on the East Coast and you're having a storm and it's cold outside and there's no electricity because of, um, you know, whatever happening. If you put up a tent inside your house and you put light candles and put them inside the tent with you, it will help keep you warmer. You're, you are, um, you're heating a smaller space. So that could be life or death for some people if it's like super cold outside right now in the middle of winter. Um, So also with the food, he said, even if you cannot buy extra food, be willing to share what you have. You know, just like when um, Elijah went to the widow um, and her and her son were like starving and they only had like their last meal left of flour and of oil. Um, you know, he asked them to make him bread. And she did it and he blessed them um, and the flour and oil never, it was always there. It never went away. So he's telling us like Yeshua blessed the bread and um, the fish before he fed the multitudes. He, he gave thanks for it. He asked the father to bless it. He blessed the father. He thanked the father. For the bread and the fish, remember to bless and thank the Father. Bless the Father and thank the Father for the food and the water, um, for the heat, for whatever it is that you, he is um, providing for you because he is our provider. B uh, bless him first, thank him first, and then partake. And he said that you... Just as the the three small loaves went out to to feed the the multitudes, and baskets came back, it multiplied. So when we are in the situation to help others, bless him for it, and it will be multiplied. Even if you have one loaf of bread, um, he just really 
um, put that on my heart to share that with you. So that is really one of the most important things to remember. Um, before partaking, bless him and thank him. So um, this is getting longer than I expected. I'm sorry that I've been rambling. but um, So it's coming, you guys. People are seeing this all over the world. There are video tapes of it. There's proof of it. Do not stick your head in the sand. Prepare spiritually and physically the best way that you can. Um, prepare your hearts and your minds. Um, and don't be afraid. Trust him. He's our provider. Think of uh, Moses and the Israelites up against the, the Red Sea. And um, Pharaoh coming with his, his army to kill them and, and take them back captive, back to Egypt. But just remember the miracles. Remember Exodus. Um, and that happened at Passover. So um, don't be surprised when this happens at Passover. So, um, and be ready for Yeshua coming back. He can come back anytime and he will protect his people. So trust him. All right. All praise and glory to Yahovah. Thank you, Yahovah, for your revelation. And please help my brothers and sisters prepare their hearts and their minds, Father. Guide each of them in the things that they need to do and align them with your heart, your mind, and your will, Father. In Yeshua's holy name we pray. Amen. And Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen.